Hey guys, plan for the day today. Um, not a ton. Um, and uh, I'm kind of curious to see what you uh, show us here. Uh, so in your upcoming, uh, you should see the forces video and picture activity. Um, when you take a look at this and you open this thing up, the first thing that's going to ask you to do is to watch a quick recap video on the types of forces. Okay, so um, yesterday you reviewed and you now understand that a force is a, just a, a push or pull on anything and that we have uh, two major categories of forces. We have contact forces, um, things like applied force, um, tension force, uh, the normal force, which was kind of a strange one. Uh, but we can talk a little bit more about that here in a little bit. Uh, and then you have non-contact forces, uh, things that don't need touching in order for the force to take place, things like gravity and electricity and magnetism and stuff like that. So this video is going to go through that really quickly. And then your assignment or activity for the day today um, is outlined in one through four here. Um, so yes, we want you to go outside, okay? Um, and take a picture of yourself. Uh, doing something that involves at least three different forces, okay? Um, so have fun with it. Uh, be creative. Uh, once you've taken that picture, though, I want you to take it a step further and uh, show me what forces are acting on or in uh, that picture, okay? And there, there's going to be a lot of different choices here. Um, but I do want you to label... Okay, so you can mark up the, the picture. Uh, I want arrows pointing to where the different forces are happening. Um, and there's a couple of ways to do that. I'll show you both. Uh, I also want you to not only um, draw arrows, but I also want you to label the type of force that's taking place. Uh, so again, a couple of, of examples here. There are more than this. You've got the applied gravity friction, normal force, um, stuff like that, okay? Um, and then you're just going to upload that back to this assignment. Okay? So, I went outside and I took a picture uh, of myself doing something that involved forces. So, here we go over to my photos. Here we go. So, this is me. All right? Eric Christman. So, um, what you need to do then is, like I said, mark it up. And you can do that right here in photos if you want to. You could go over in the upper right hand corner and hit edit. Okay? Um, and from here, you can mark it up, okay? Up here, upper right-hand corner, right? Hit the mark up, and then you can draw and label and do all sorts of stuff here, right? Okay, um, so again, make sure you're giving us arrows, okay, as to where the forces are. One challenge for you would be to tell me or put the, the arrow direction not pointing to the force, but where the f uh, direction of the force is. All right, so I'm going to change my color here. Okay, so the force of gravity, okay, would be uh, pushing down on me. So uh, this would be gravity, okay? And I'm going to give you a hint. That's going to be in every single person's picture, okay? Here's a freebie. So you only really need two more, okay, force of gravity down, all right? So that's one option. You can mark it up all here, okay? Uh, some people might, might not be overly comfortable doing it in that, in your photos. Uh, so what you could do then is instead go over here to Notability. You could make a, uh, a new... Um, that's not what I want to do. You can make a new note, right? Uh, hit the plus button up right-hand corner. Uh, grab it from your photo. There I am, Eric Chrisman. Okay. And then you can mark it up right here here okay all right make that bigger and then again you've got the force of gravity force of gravity fg down okay do all the different markups in here right um, other examples if you're kind of confused as to what would be happening okay in my windmill dunk that i'm working on right now I am applying a force, here's the applied force, okay, and I'm applying it to that direction here. If I am moving up, okay, um, the force of friction would be in the opposite direction, you know, that would be, uh, if I'm moving up, air, force of air resistance, okay, would be another example, okay? So, that's the plan. 
Okay? Go outside, please, and take a picture of yourself doing something fun and give me three different forces acting in that picture. Okay? Thank you.